हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल स्टैंडर्ड फाइव सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स एंड वेलकम अगेन इन आवर ऑनलाइन क्लास चैप्टर टेन टेंस एंड हंड्रेड्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इन दिस चैप्टर क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन द टेम्परेचर ऑफ थ्री डेज इन अहमदाबाद इज शोइंग इन द टेबल गिव इन ब्लो answer the following question on it basis you can see this is a table temperature of 3 days in amdavad this is the table of temperature 3 days in amdavad temperature so day is monday tuesday and wednesday maximum temperature and minimum temperature maximum means very hot and minimum means it's not cold it's in level so see the first question you can see here which is the hottest day hottest that means we have to find out in maximum temperature monday 35 decimal 4 degree celsius tuesday 35.8 degree celsius and wednesday 35.7 degree celsius so which one is hot which one is more Thirty five point eight degree Celsius. That is Tuesday. So Tuesday is the hottest day. Now see the second one. What is the difference between maximum and minimum temperature of Monday? So what is the difference that we have to find out in Monday temperature, maximum and minimum temperature? So let's see first Monday temperature. So you can see in the step table. Monday maximum temperature is thirty five point four degree Celsius and minimum temperature is twenty three point nine degree Celsius. So Monday maximum temperature is thirty five point four degree Celsius and max minimum is twenty three point nine degree Celsius. So now we have to subtract it. Now subtract it and then we will get eleven. Point five degrees Celsius. So this is the difference between maximum and minimum temperature of the Monday. Now see the third one. State the difference between maximum and minimum temperature of Wednesday. So Wednesday is maximum temperature is thirty five point seven degrees Celsius and minimum is twenty three point six degrees Celsius. So right here, Wednesday maximum temperature is thirty-five point seven degrees Celsius, and minimum is twenty-three point six degrees Celsius. Like this, we have to subtract the third one also. Now subtract these two, and you will get twelve point one degrees Celsius in your subtraction. Now turn your page. Fourth number in the maximum temperature of Monday, more or less than. the minimum temperature of wednesday by how much so first what we have to write we have to see and write the monday minimum te temperature and temperature of wednesday minimum temperature so monday minimum temperature is according to your question according to your books table 23 decimal 9 degree celsius wednesday minimum temperature is 23 decimal or point 6 degree celsius so now we have to subtract it so this will you will get how by how much now 23.9 degree celsius subtract with 23.6 degree celsius so you will get 0.3 degree celsius okay this is the answer five number what is the difference between maximum temperature of tuesday and minimum temperature of wednesday so first what we have to see we have to see and write the maximum temperature of tuesday and the minimum temperature of wednesday here you have to notice this is the maximum temperature of tuesday and this is the minimum temperature of wednesday so right here tuesday maximum temperature is 35.8 degree celsius and wednesday minimum okay temperature is 23.6 degree celsius so now subtract it 
35.8 degree celsius and 23.6 degree celsius you will subtract and then you will get 12.2 degrees celsius this is the answer till here hope you understood now see test yourself or mcq test yourself choose the correct alternative for each question and write the correct option in the box so these are boxes given here these are question and options are here so let's start and choose the correct answer first number 8 cm is equal to dash millimeter 8 cm is equal to dash millimeter so which one is right so i explained you in before question in this chapters so 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so 8 cm is equal to what how much mm so 8 multiply with 10 you will get d number 80 so right here d okay you can see here right here d tick out here answer and write the correct answer see the second one 849 cm is equal to meter this we have to find out here 1 meter is equal to student 100 cm so meter is greater than cm so here what you have to do you have to divide it 849 with 100 so you will get a answer 8 decimal 49 because meter is greater than centimeter and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm okay so you will get a answer right here a answer and write the correct answer tick out here c three number 427 paise is equal to how many rupees and rupees is greater than paise you all know this so 1 rupees is equal to 100 paise here also you have to do the divide with 100 So four hundred divide four hundred twenty seven paise divide with hundred. So C number is correct. Four decimal twenty seven. C right here. Tick out here and write the answer. Now see the fourth one. Rupees one upon four is equal to dash paise. This is given in a rupees and this we have to find out paise. So what we have to do we all know 1 rupees is equal to 100 paise so 1 and then 4 multiply with 100 so you will get 25 paise and write here correct answer b then after put tick a tick out here and write the correct answer now see the five number six integer and 32 hundredths This you have to notice. This is not hundred. This is hundreds. Is written in digit as dash six integer means six decimal or six point. So hundred in a thirty two. So six decimal thirty two or six point thirty two. So C number is the right one. Write here C. Tick out here and write the correct answer here. Now see on page number one hundred and forty-three. This chapter, let's do homework. Complete the following table. These tables we have to complete, and this already I this type of question I already explained in this chapter. But again, I am going to explain you. So practice it. Number, shapes, fraction. and decimal fraction and decimals we have to find out. You can see these shapes according to these shapes we have to find out these. these are this is the circle and that you have to count first total number of this circle triangle or shape so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so 10 so here you have to write 10 and then after see the shading parts or coloring part 3 1 2 and 3 so 3 upon 10 then do the divide I explained you how to do divide. So do the divide, and you will get in decimal zero decimal three. Now see the second one. Count this total part of this circle. So it this is also ten. So write here ten, and then the shading parts or coloring parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven upon ten. Do the divide again. You will get zero decimal seven. Otherwise decimal. Rules. This is 
one zero in a ten so before or front of this one number you will put the decimal now see the third number count this rectangle shapes squares square no this is also a boxes shapes so rectangle shapes boxes so count all these so 3 6 9 and 10 then after from this side 3 6 9 and 10 so 10 10 is 100 total number of boxes is 100 and the shading part is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 upon 100 and then do the division 0 decimal 9 see the fourth one total number of boxes 100 right here 100 and the shading part so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 line of 10 that means 60 60 upon 100 do the divide division so you will get 0 decimal 60 now see the last number and fifth number total boxes of this square is 100 10 and from this side 10 so 100 shading parts or coloring parts is 10 and 20 so 20 upon 100 and do the divide then you will get 0 decimal 20 so now this my chapter is completed hope you understood this practice it thank you